Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, guys, I think the lesson we all learned this week is never break up with Taylor Swift. <laughs> or she will sing about you for 10 minutes on national television. <laughs> At the very least, at the very least, return the scarf. <laughs> but <laughs> According to a new report, a former staff member for Vice President Kamala Harris says that she often fails to read briefing material and is unprepared for meetings. Well, you know, it feels really amazing to finally see someone in the White House who's just like me. <laughs> A new book claims that while Donald Trump was president, White House staff routinely found wads of paper clogging the toilet. So either he tried to flush classified documents or he eats the wrappers. The CDC believes the Omicron variant was first appearing in the U.S. during a recent anime convention in New York. Damn, the one time they leave the house. But in real news, I I don't really know what's real anymore, ex-Trump advisor Steve Bannon, seen here moments after shooting out of a sewage pipe. (laughs) Sorry, I I should use his full name. Stephen K. Bannon, the K stands for three Ks, (laughs) was indicted this week for contempt of Congress. And convicted Bannon would face up to two years in prison which, from the looks of him, might be a life sentence. (laughs) After the tree outside of Fox News headquarters was set on fire by a homeless man, Fox & Friends host Ainsley Earhart said, this Scrooge is not going to get away with it. And nothing has ever explained Fox News better than a rich white lady calling a homeless man Scrooge. Legal experts are saying that Kyle Rittenhouse crying on the stand as he described how he shot his victims will help him with the jury. Man, is there a white tears law school that I don't know about? (laughs) I notice that every time y'all get in trouble, you start crying and everything just works out for you, whether you're trying to beat a murder charge or trying to be a Supreme Court justice. New York City will require all children over the age of five to show proof of vaccination before dining indoors or going to an entertainment venue. Because if there's one thing a five-year-old can do, it's keep track of a small piece of paper. (laughs) Prosecutors have asked a judge to sentence Jacob Chansley, the January 6th insurgent known as the QAnon shaman, to 51 months in prison. They chose that because five plus one equals six. Six, six, six is the mark of the beast. Six plus six plus six is 18, minus one for one nation under God, equals 17, and the 17th letter of the alphabet is, say it with me, Q. It almost makes too much sense. (laughs) Representative Devin Nunes, seen here, realizing a little came out on that one. announced that he is leaving Congress to become CEO of Trump's new social media company, which, again, just based on this photo, will be called Squirt. Something wrong with you, man. (laughs) A judge on Friday officially ended Britney Spears' conservatorship after 13 years. The media is very excited that she's back on her feet so they can knock her right back down again. (laughs) Senator Josh Hawley, whose middle name is, um, actually said in a speech that after years of being told their manhood is the problem, men are turning to pornography and video games, which is not true. I also drink. (laughs) Democrat Terry McAuliffe lost to Republican Glenn Youngkin in the Virginia governor's race, but on the bright side, losers from Virginia usually get a statue. Experts say that the Republican victory in Virginia's governor's race was fueled by support from white women who didn't go to college, which just so happens to be the same exact group I target on Tinder. (laughs) A man in India has set a new record by staring directly at the sun for an hour without blinking. The record is for best drugs. (laughs) A woman testifying 
in the sex trafficking trial of Ghislaine Maxwell said that Maxwell told her that Jeffrey Epstein needed to have sex about three times a day, and if not, he'd kill himself. <laughs> in the wake of Republican, in the wake of Republican success in this week's elections, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy announced that Republicans would introduce a Parents' Bill of Rights, which I'm pretty sure is just a sign you can buy at Home Goods. <laughs> A judge ruled that Texas Governor Greg Abbott's executive order banning mask mandates in school violated the Americans with Disabilities Act. Because in Texas, you have to treat the disabled with care and respect until the day you execute them. <laughs> a, new, a new study finds that regular use of marijuana may disrupt people's sleep. That's adorable, said cocaine. <laughs> It was reported that Sylvester Stallone will star in a new TV series playing an Italian mob boss from Kansas City in what is an absolute nightmare scenario for the closed captioning guy. It was, I don't know why I thought that'd make you laugh. It was announced that New York City Santa Con, which was canceled last year, will return this December. So the answer is nothing. The pandemic taught us nothing. With his victory, Eric Adams will become New York's second black mayor, not to be confused with the New York mayor who blacks out. <laughs> Adams defeated Republican Curtis Sliwa, who will now return to his previous job as Emily in Paris's lawyer. <laughs> Barefoot Wine has teamed up with Oreos to create a line of red wine with hints of chocolate while I teamed up with alcoholism to give it a try. A new report shows that female doctors over the course of their careers make two million dollars less than men. Oh, that's just not right. I mean, female doctors? <laughs> Republican Winsome Sears, seen here attempting suicide by cop, was elected... <laughs> was elected as Virginia's first black female lieutenant governor. But this is actually a win for Democrats because nothing will get Republicans to support gun control faster than this picture. <laughs> a new study finds that if cats were humans, their behavior would classify them as psychopaths. <laughs> While if dogs were human, they'd get me too on day one. Popeyes has introduced its first ever fish sandwich called the Cajun Flounder Sandwich. It's also the first ever fish sandwich to be made entirely of expired chicken. <laughs> Smith College has become the first woman's college to eliminate student debt by replacing loans with grants because a lady should never have to pay. <laughs> lady. An 81-year-old pharmacist in Pennsylvania was arrested for allegedly trading drugs for sexual favors. Wow, so he's a pharmacist now. Oh, that's good. <laughs> a new report lists the city with the worst traffic in the world as London, England. Uh, here's an idea. Maybe stop driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken is testing a new dipping sauce called Sweet Hot Capital City Mambo Sauce. Coincidentally, Sweet Hot Capital City Mambo Sauce is also what Jost calls rap music. <laughs> the International Handball Federation's agreed to allow female players to wear bike shorts instead of bikini bottoms. But they're still insisting that refs use this whistle. <laughs> <laughs> 